Yo, what's good guys? Welcome back to another American Horror Story Cult. This will be episode 5. And as you can see, man, I've had a bit of a trim on the old hair. Now, I'm only going to show my Patreons what the back looks like. Because I'm not, I'm not quite sure about it. But my Patreons, if you're watching, let me know what you think of my hair. Do you reckon... Alright, let me show you the whole thing first, right? I'll give you like a spin. Alright, so, American Horror Story Cult, um, episode 4, we had, let me think, Ivy, she really, uh, yeah, she really surprised me, she met Winter before we met Winter, she kind of staged an interview to have Winter as a nanny, like, when she already knew her, so she was going to get the job regardless. So my th my thoughts are all over the place about Cole. I'm thinking that Ivy is ch cheating on Ali with Winter. Or Ivy wants Winter to get into the middle of their relationship. So Ali leaves. It's got me thinking that Ivy wants... I've got no idea. It, ma it makes me also think that Ivy's the one that put the camera in the bathroom. But it has to be Winter. Winter has to be the one... That put the camera in the bathroom because Ivy did kind of look shocked. Unless she's a really good actress in the show. Or actor, I should say, in the show. Like her character is like really good at acting is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, she seemed quite shocked when she saw Ali and Winter in the bath. So that makes me think that that reaction was real. So I think Winter set it up, the camera. Maybe Winter's trying to get in the middle. I don't know, man. Something deep is going on. And then they... Ivy went to a rally, that's how we, she met Winter. She met Winter through uh, the guy that works at the supermarket, at the store. When he, uh, when he groped her, Winter went after him, and then they kind of went out for a meal afterwards, like a drink, like for a, for a coffee. And then they started talking about uh, like the state of the government, the state of the, the country. And then it was decided that they were going to get revenge on the guy who worked at the store. They tased him, they beat him, they kidnapped him, they secured him to like a pipe or something with handcuffs. And Kai was actually the one to rescue him because every vote counts and every recruitment counts. So Kai is, gonna now, is now going to be recruiting this guy into one of his team or in his cult so who have we got in the cult so far I believe man I'm starting to forget the names Harrison is his name Harrison Harrison and Meadow those two are definitely in the cult those two were the ones that killed Madison Montgomery during her interview thing they have to be as well as Kai Kai is also a clown as well so we've got Harrison, Meadow and Kai as clowns. I also think... I also think that Beverly Hope could be a clown too. Because she's also been recruited by Kai. And now... We saw... That before... The show... I mean, like, before episode one was shown to us. There was something that happened... With Kai... Um, and the guy chopped his arm off. So he has obviously been recruited as well now. And it makes sense because at, when Ali went to the store in episode one, that's when she saw the guy in his hat and he had like a brace as well with his arm in it. It's almost like his hand was cut off. And then she was chased around the store by clowns. So is he a clown too? It could be, man. It's all adding up. And then all these people are on Kai's side and Kai is going to run for city council. So he's getting all these numbers. I mean, it's not that much yet. But as I said last episode, tens turn into hundreds, turn into thousands, turn into hundreds of thousands, and so on. That's how it all kind of happens in the first place. So Kai is going to be... He's going to be backed up for the stuff he does. The more people he recruits, the more success he's going to get in uh, running for something. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you guys much longer with that information, with the little throwback. I've been talking for eight minutes, 
and 15 seconds. Okay, so this is it. I saw a bit of the thumbnail of episode 5. It was Beverly Hope sitting down. And I believe it was the trucker guy behind her sat down as well on like a higher stool. Okay, so this is it. This is called Holes. A severed head. A brutal attack. People are being targeted. Chemtrucks are invading our neighborhood in the dead of the night. Our own government is poisoning us. What has happened to our great nation? Oh, I have to pause it there. I already know what's going on. Beverly is going to be picking Kai to interview now. And now Kai is like, oh my god, it's perfect. It's perfect. Kai's plan is perfect. He's literally, oh, I didn't even think about that. He literally has a reporter on his side. And now he's going to be spitting facts. So he's out murdering people, but then he's saying, oh, we're all being targeted, man. So vote for me, you know, I'll protect you. Man, he, Kai... He has the perfect plan. Screw it. You're fired. What? You sure you want to do that, Bob? Get the fuck out of my office. You piece of shit. Have a nice day, Bob. You fucking wanker. And I guess we're just gonna have to kill Bob. And you're gonna film it. Who's this? You're late. Sorry. Whoa! What I miss? Fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> See ya. I'm gone. Here we go, man. That's when I start to get pissed off. This is when I start to get pissed off. I can't believe it. I cannot even fathom that, man. What the fuck? Whoa. I don't even know if I want to press play. I can't believe it. How has Ivy just walked down them stairs? I'm mad confused, man. Not even about Ivy either. I mean, it's, it's just like that whole scene has basically confirmed that like they're all killers in it. Like, obviously, I got that. They're all the clowns. And the people in that room are the people in on it, as well as Ivy, it seems. But what I'm confused about is Winter. The person I'm most confused about is Ivy, obviously, but the the second one behind that It's Winter, man. The and the reason I say I'm confused with Winter is in the first episode, Kai got onto her bed with all the whatsits, the the cheesy puffs all over his face. And she was acting like she hated him. Like, oh, are we gonna rub it in that Trump won now? But like they're on the same side. That doesn't I don't know, that doesn't really make sense. Unless that was to throw the viewer off, like the audience, into thinking that she's a good person until like now, like this episode. But Ivy, Ivy, Ivy. I cannot believe, I can't believe it. So she's been working with him the whole time. Oh, now I've got my brain, my brain's racking now, man. Oh, this episode will go into it, yeah, but I'm just going to say off the bat, Ivy has been doing he's she's been on this the whole time she's the one that killed no she didn't kill the changs changs she knows about the changs getting killed she knows who done it as well and she knows it's them and then she got harrison and meadow to move in and i bet the reason why meadow got killed killed but i reckon the reason she's dead is uh, is because maybe she wanted out she didn't want to be a part of it anymore. Fuck. Let's go. Let's continue.
I can't believe Ivy, man. I can't, honestly. I'm, I'm fully, I'm fully Sarah Paulson now. I'm Ali. Ali all the way. And Oz. Oh, I swear, I even said it too at the end of the episode when the clown was in the bed. And she turned over and I was like, oh, Ali could even be a clown. Then I was like, no. But fuck, yeah, she is. But it's been unbearable. I realized I have a biological need to see my son every day. So Ivy took Oz as well. She's made it so I have to stay in that house alone. By myself. Phobias get worse as well, man. Everything I have is tied up in the restaurant. I own the building, which means I'm strapped for cash until I sell. It was like she prepared. Yeah. Did you have any idea that your relationship with Ivy might be tenuous? Oh, here we go. Right, I've got something else to say, man. Sorry about pausing it, but... Ivy, man, she's a bitch. Now that she walked down the stairs to Kai saying, sorry, I'm late on that, yeah? I've started thinking about more shit. She... She knows winter, yeah? Like, fully. She knows winter fully. And she saw Winter and, I and Ali in the bath. And she went mad and she left her, man. It's all pre-planned. All premeditated, this shit. And I'm pissed off. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever it is, we can't afford it. Open it. Come on. Oh, lighten up, uh, Ivy. Jesus, Ali. <laughs> what were you thinking? Uh, I was thinking that we might have fun. Like a happy, loving couple. I was thinking that you might give a shit. What was it? What even was it? Was it a vibrator or something? I remember when you were little, and look at I look at Ivy in the background, patch. keeping an eye. I'm sorry you had to be the one to find the video, Ivy, but it had to be that way. I get how this works. What needs to be done, and I've been doing it, haven't I? What? I hate this country. What it's become. I hate my fucking wife for letting it happen. The only thing I love right now is my son, and I will do whatever it takes to make the world a better place for him. What is she talking about? I hate my wife for letting it happen. What? She's solely blaming Ali for. I'm start. I'm gonna start swinging in a minute. It's time. Ready for low light photography. And remember, on the kill shot, everybody chant Ave Satanas. Is that the police the police officer's there too, isn't it? The police officer that keeps going around Ali's house saying, Oh, you're gonna get protection 24 hour, but we're we now gonna see the clowns in action. Oh, they're gonna threaten him. Release the footage. They're, they're, they're not gonna kill him. They ain't gonna kill him. They're gonna they're gonna make him release the footage. Damn, fuck that man, honestly. That is scary. What the fuck is this? No wonder he was licking his fingers as coming down the stairs. There's fucking blood on his fingers, the little fucking dickhead. If it can't hurt us, I vote we cut it down and let it go. We don't take boats. Who is it, though? Doesn't matter anyway. Oh my god, man. That's fucking awful. Now you're gonna gag. Oh, oh, is this too much for you, Ivy? Is this too much for you? Oh, sorry. I thought you knew what killer clowns meant. I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Oh fuck. Maybe they are gonna kill him. Holy shit, man. This is crazy. Channel 7's own Bob Thompson 
is the latest victim in a string of I can't believe what I'm watching, honestly. I can't believe it. Recent weeks. If you are squeamish, please change the channel now. I am warning you. This video is extremely disturbing. They ain't gonna they wouldn't show that on live TV anyway, but but that's happened anyway. That's happened. She's right, man. This is messed up. Like next level twisted. We should let him out of it. You wanted to make the news. Stop being a bitch. Wow, man. She's fierce. This is a cancer. Beverly Hope is one fierce bitch. One horrible fierce bitch. As well as Kai. Kai is a fucking evil motherfucker, mate. Ivy. Don't even get me started on Ivy. Come on, Ali. You're a lone wolf now. You gotta do your thing. You gotta do your thing. Oh no, it's like rear window. Police officer, yeah, go on. Recognise him, recognise him, Ali. Oh, what? I don't think we should be doing this. Or maybe we should have a peek in the barrels, though. Nope, gone straight past the barrels. To be fair, they're going to be having sex, so this actually might be Ali's best chance. Please don't faint. Don't cut there. Yeah, she know. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's really good. She's seen enough to know that there's some weird shit going on over the road. She got out of there before they could see her. You have reached the 911 dispatch center. We are experiencing an unusually high volume of calls. Oh, fuck off. Don't ring. Don't ring Ivy. Please don't ring Ivy. Fuck. I need you to come to the house. A uh, rookie error. Winter, tell them the good news. I just did a new straw poll. Ever since the clowns made their debut on the news, we're up 10 points. Kai's ahead of all the other candidates. What does that mean? I don't get it. Is he against clowns then? Is that his whole thing? Is that why people are voting for him? Because he's he said he's against clowns, maybe? Why would they vote for him more? Because clowns are featured on the news. I don't get that. Beverly... You saw him with the gimp. He's never one to do the hard thing. No, there was Ali, man. Ali ran off. Ali was the only one who ran off. And he's the weak link. The world record for nails in the head before death is 13. Come on, this is what you signed up for. Right in his temple and it didn't kill him. This is fucked, man. Fucking saliva coming out of his mouth. Shit. Why are you crying? Oh my god, he's still alive, man. Bless this guy, man. Fucking, you sick, twisted cunt. Good night, sweet prince. And the flights of angels sing thee to thy rest. That is fucking brutal, mate. That was brutal. Yeah, well, he should know whose dick his mom is bouncing up and down on now that his dad's doesn't work. Jesus Christ. He's just, yeah, he's just grown up around hatred, mate. His dad is the one who influenced all this fucking behaviour, man. Kai. Oh, 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 oh. It's the only way out. She's gonna kill herself. No! Fuck. And what happened next? What do we do, man? 
What? Fuck off. Jesus Christ. That's bullshit. I'm turning you both in. Oh my god. We're free now. Are they still there? I visit them sometimes. I miss you. To talk to my mom. I love you. This is weird. This is a this episode um what the I'm gonna be something someday for you. I'll make you so proud. I promise. Oh my god, he's a oh. <laughs> This is <laughs> Oh god. I was wondering why there was a red rose outside that door in episode one. <laughs> Beverly kind of sw flipped the switch there. Shit. That episode, I can't believe... I can't believe the information that's unraveled in that episode alone. That was... That was some crazy shit. I ain't gonna lie. But do you know what, though? I'm hooked. It's got me hooked. I remember at the, ep at the end of episode two, I was pissed off. But now I'm hooked. Things are starting to come to light. I thought the biggest shock would have been Ivy coming down the stairs saying, sorry, I'm late. But the next biggest shock, it ha oh, I can't believe it's happened. I can't believe it's happened. But it's, fuck, it's the psychiatrist, man. The fucking therapist for Ali. He is the brother of Kai. What is the odds? How coincidental is this stuff that's happening? How mad is this story? How mad is it? Kai just seems to know everyone. Well, the cult. Everyone Ali knows seems to be in this cult. Um. Uh, what else do I say? Uh. So we got we got Ali in the cult. We've got the the ther the psychiatrist. He's not in the cult as we know of. He could be, but he does know of Kai. Like, he's Kai's brother. I knew everyone had to be linked somehow, and they all are. It's crazy. And the fact the fact that he, it was his idea to put his parents in the bed and padlock the door. Like, he's a psychiatrist. How can he sit there across from people who he's trying to help mentally? In the back of his head, he's got... His parents are, his parents' bodies are decomposing in their bedroom. How can he sleep at night knowing that? How can he help other people knowing that? How can he do anything knowing that? And Kai was against it, but now he's all for it. He was even visiting his mum. Holding her decaying hand, saying he's going to become something of himself. And then he's like shout, not shouting, but he's kind of cussing at his dad, saying, "I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm watching you rot into nothing." Mad episode, mad, mad, mad episode. And Ali, Ali, how like right? The thing I'm confused about with Meadows, the Meadows situation, she was lying in the pit. So Harrison obviously has done something. He obviously dug it. And he must have... Whoever was in the black bag, it wasn't Meadow because she's alive. Unless it was Meadow. But then she wouldn't have been able to breathe or anything. But anyway, Ali went back home. Tried to call the police. The police are like... They didn't even uh, respond because... Oh, we're getting... Too many calls at this time. Like, obviously they are. Fucking coincidental. And then she calls Ivy. But then Ivy's like, oh, what's going uh, Holes again. Oh, uh, holes. More about holes. I can't do with this stress. And then Meadow knocks on the window. Or rather, kind of bashes onto it. Saying, it's all a cult. Everyone's in on it. But Ivy didn't find out that Ali knows. So Ali is actually now one step ahead. So, is Ali... Ali doesn't have Oz as well. 
So Ali can lit do what she wants. And I think because Ivy knows that the house is... Or Ivy knows that Ali is so anxious and scared about the outside that she that Ivy would think that Ali would never leave her home but now she's got reason to she's going to spy on Ivy I reckon Ali is going to uh, track her to Kai's house she's going to follow her she's going to find out where the house is she might then decide to go inside which is a bad idea I think you should just call the police if you call the police on that house they're going to find everything they're going to find the bodies of the parents as well. Oh, I still can't I still can't believe they're, they're brothers. I still can't believe they're brothers. It's very gruesome as well, this series. Which I kind of like, because I do like Saw, the Saw films. So the whole nail gun to the head thing. Like, it was kind of hard to watch, but I kind of do... I like seeing that. I don't know why. It just makes it, it just makes me more like kind of involved in the show. And how does it make sense, right? So I need this explained, what I'm about to say. Ivy has joined this cult and I'm pretty sure she joined it after she was groped by that guy. So if she joined the cult after she was groped, how did she react? How did the guy even react? Can't the guy... I don't even know his name, man. The trucker guy. The fat guy. Why has there not been shown him having a go at Ivy and Winter for for pretty much making him cut his arm off? Like, he, he would still have his arm if they didn't kidnap him. Like, how has, he just, how has he let that one go? And how has Ivy let the whole groping thing go? Why is she in a cult with someone who gropes women? And is and is for Trump. Like she's for Trump. No, he is for Trump. She is for Clinton. So how can she be in a cult with someone that has different political views than her? And she was in the car with Winter, saying, "I hate my wife, and I hate this country." Like after and like. She's saying that she hates her wife and this, and this country and she's in a cult with a dude who first of all supports Trump cut his own arm off just so he could vote for Trump and he gropes women like am I missing something? Am I missing something? How, how is this stuff not being questioned? I'm hoping people have questioned this when they've watched cult yeah don't get me wrong I think this is a great series but how has this guy not said anything to Ivy and Winter about what happened between them? Getting tased, getting hit over the head, getting handcuffed to the pole, getting taped, like, getting restrained. Like, how has he let that one slide? And how's Ivy, how is Ivy? It doesn't make, like, how is she, how is she in a cult? Why is Ivy in a cult with people that shared, that have different views than her? And she hates Ali? Ali's not a Trump supporter. And Ivy is against Trump supporters, yet she's in a cult with him. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. I'm hoping that's explained. I'm really hoping that's explained. Because that I can't even fathom that. That's that's it's, it's just hard to believe. It's hard to believe. Like Kai Kai's a clever guy, yeah. But I think he's getting He's not being credited enough. He's running a cult that has Trump supporters and Clinton supporters, like in the middle, like or just after an election has happened. Oh man, I can't, I, I can't talk anymore about Ivy, man. It's gonna make me go crazy. But anyway, um, just quickly, Meadow. So she came out the hole. She seemed fine to me. She didn't seem like she was that hurt. And then she was bagged over the head. And then when Ivy asked Harrison where Meadow is, he said, oh, she's with, she's with one of her friends. So who took who took Meadow? Who was it? I think someone else took Meadow. Unless it was Harrison that put the bag over her head. And he, he killed her. 
like he finished her off or buried her alive or whatever it is. But yeah, no confirmation as to who took Meadow again. And uh, yeah, I think I'm. I think I might even stop. I'm gonna. I might stop talking because uh, I don't know. But Bob, man, the the guy called Bob who got murdered, he had a gimp in his attic, being held up by like hooks. And he had a thing on, so he was blind, and he couldn't hear either. That must be fucking horrible, man. That must have been so horrible. And we still didn't know who that was. And why has he even got a gimp upstairs when he's been... F what is this guy into? He's into... Uh, I'm going off on a... I'm going off on one. <laughs> Like, how can this guy, he was sleeping with uh, Madison Montgomery, so already that's weird because of the age gap, but then he's also keeping, like, how long has he been keeping gimps up in his attic for? Is this the first victim of him? Is there more? Like, what kind of sick, twisted shit is this? It seems like everyone's got a bit of dirt on themselves, apart from Ali. Ali seems to be the only... One with a good conscience, it seems, man. She just has a lot of phobias that she needs to overcome. And then when she does overcome them, she'll be a fucking badass, mate. She'll run for city council, motherfucker. How about that? Anyway, I'm going to stop it there. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Cults, episode 5. Very, very, very good episode. One of my favourite episodes of American Horror Story, for sure. I said that last season as well, but I can still have favourite episodes. If you'd like to watch the full reaction to this episode, you can do so. You can um, you can go on my Patreon where it's there as well. You can also watch the full reactions to the previous four episodes of Cult. You can also watch the full reactions to season one to six as well. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Every reaction to every episode of American Horror Story so far is on my Patreon in full. And if you're watching this episode on YouTube, this is episode five. I'm hoping... I can say this. I'm hoping that episode that the rest of Cult is on my Patreon in full. So if this is episode five and you're watching this on YouTube, then you can go onto my Patreon and you can watch episodes six to eleven, I think. Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't Right, okay. I don't wanna right, that was a weird that was a bad idea. I've just read all the other episode titles then. But anyway, there's 11 episodes left, so if you're watching this episode on YouTube, this is episode 5, uh, you can watch episodes 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on my Patreon in full. So thank you guys for watching again. Uh, don't forget to rate my haircut. And I'll see you for episode 6 of Cult. Take it easy. <laughs>